Coming up on TLDR from GeekWire. A Seattle-based smart game startup gets the ball rolling. A Chrome extension for identifying Craigslist scams. And we ask immigrant entrepreneurs and tech leaders how the U.S. could improve immigration policy. From GeekWire, it's TLDR, our news rundown on tech, business, and other geekiness. TLDR is presented by Reach Now. Experience the future of mobility at reachnow.com. The Seattle-based smart game ball company Play Impossible is on a roll. The startup has landed a deal with Apple, partnered with NFL players, and just raised $1.25 million to target a new education market. Play Impossible sells a smart inflatable ball equipped with electronics, including an accelerator and a barometer. The ball links up to your smartphone to send real-time data. The Apple deal means that the smart ball will be exclusively available in Apple stores, the Apple website, and the Play Impossible website. And a partnership with the NFL Players Association means that Play Impossible is gaining a lot of clout. NFL players like Houston Texans wide receiver Braxton Miller will become ambassadors for the brand. In other news, a Seattle engineer has made it easier for you to identify Craigslist apartment scams. Joyce Wu created Cluck, a Google Chrome extension that notifies users if a listing might not be legitimate. Users themselves can also also comment on listings. Wu was a software development engineer at Zillow before leaving to start her own company. She came up with the idea for Cluck after working on a subletting marketplace for college students. Wu is the only person currently working on Cluck. She says that in the future, Cluck could become a Firefox extension and go beyond Craigslist. And finally, I recently produced a special series for GeekWire on immigration. I originally came up with the project in recognition of Immigrant Heritage Month in June, but given the national debate over U.S. immigration practices, the series is even more relevant right now. In the first installment, I asked a diverse group of immigrant entrepreneurs and tech leaders about the changes they would want to see in U.S. immigration policy. I've been here since 1991. It's now 2018 and I got my citizenship two years ago, you know, after 25 years. And um, I went to pick up my new U.S. passport and the guy who gave me the passport, young guy, was like, welcome to the United States. And I was like, I think I've been here longer than you've been alive. Streamlining the immigration process, um, or even just the work visa process, I think will do a lot to bring some really good talent to the United States. There is a lot more to the subject, so I hope you'll watch the full video on our YouTube channel. Well, that's all we have for today. Make sure to subscribe to the TLDR email list at geekwire.com slash TLDR so we can notify you when we upload new content. I'm Starl Simpaco. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.